Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor Tindai, and today I'm going to be sharing with you an old Egyptian inscription which says, Humans live on one quarter of what they eat, the other three quarters lives their doctor. Stay tuned to find out exactly what it means. Twelve years ago when I started this daily routine I wasn't fully aware of the health benefits. I was doing it to lose weight, boost my metabolism and get more energy. While living in the Middle East I was introduced to fasting uh, my first Ramadan in Dubai. It was a eye-opening experience because I wanted to take part in their culture while I was there so every Ramadan for the six years that I was in Dubai I fasted. I also did the intermittent fasting on a daily basis as of 2008 and continue to do so till today. Now I've had numerous health benefits from doing all of this. The major one being losing weight, being able to detox and cleanse my system, giving my digestion a rest while it gives the rest of my immune system the ability to then go ahead and repair on a cellular level and um, heal my body. I do what I'd like to call the midday fast. The midday fast is when I stop eating at 8pm in the evening and don't eat anything until 12 o'clock in the afternoon the following day. The midday fast normally is when I'm working and I'm allowed to drink water from the moment I wake up up until midday and then I can have solid foods from midday or whatever time after midday that I choose to, to eat. I can have freshly squeezed juices and that's about it. And then sometimes, and I mean very rarely, I will have a smoothie. Uh, fruit smoothie. I'm currently doing a dry fast at the moment where I do not eat or drink anything up until I open my fast. When I do a dry fast I tend to go for much longer so they tend to be 18 to 20 hours sometimes 24 to 48 or even 72 hours long. Now when doing a fast it is very important that you know what foods that you should use to break your fast dates, figs, you're going to need a handful of Brazil nuts. You need some water. And you're going to need a tablespoon of raw chocolate nibs. Type of dates you get these are quite sweet i get these all the time they're, they're, they're bigger than usual so you're gonna need just four of these so i'll take the, uh, the pips out so in there i've got brazil nuts dates chocolate nibs for now Thank you. 